Have you ever wondered if Bayern Munich and uh, Paris Saint-Germain would be champions if they were in the same league as the other top teams in the world? Hello everyone, this is the What If League and today's episode is the beginning of a new series which uh, I will call the Super Leagues and uh, I want to take this time to explain what these series are going to be about. This is uh, a brand new experiment which uh, I am starting and is involving the top 100 teams by reputation in Football Manager 2018. The concept of the experiment is that uh, now I have created five new leagues, five new divisions in Portugal. I have used Portugal as the host country, removed all of the existing uh, Portuguese competitions, they have been made uh, extinct, and uh, now in their place there are now five divisions, each division contains 20 teams and there are also four cup competitions uh, in this nation. Each of the division contains uh, the top 20 teams uh, by reputation in the game, so this means that Super League 1 contains teams from 1 to 20, Super League 2 contains teams from 21 to 40, and so on and so on until Super League four, uh, 5, which contains teams from uh, 81 until 100. Then on top of that uh, there is the League Cup, which is uh, for all the teams to compete. There is also uh, the uh, Trophy, which is a minor cup for which only leagues 3, 4 and 5 will compete. And uh, there is additionally another cup, which is only for the first two leagues to compete, which is kind of the Premier Cup. And there is also on top of that a Super Cup game, which is to be played just before the beginning of each season. Let me explain a bit more about the rules of the competitions before I get uh, into the actual divisions. So each, each league will have uh, w three teams promoted. Well, of course, this does not include uh, Super League 1, which is the top division and uh, nobody can get promoted uh, from there. But uh, in uh, League 1 there could be three teams relegated and then uh, the same number of relegated teams in uh, League 2, 3 and 4. Nobody can be relegated from League 5. The promotion would work as follows. The first two uh, teams uh, in the division would uh, be promoted automatically, while uh, teams placed from third to seventh place would have to play playoffs uh, in two legs. So they start with semifinals with, in two legs and then final in two legs, which is going to determine who goes into the next level of uh, divisions. In cases of parity on points, the rules will be that uh, teams would be, um, uh, would be judged by goal difference, then by goal scored, and if uh, those two parameters are also equal for the two teams, they would be judged by the direct games that they have placed, uh, played against each other. The transfer windows available for th these divisions are the same as uh, for the rest of Europe, which means that they have uh, the whole summer for the transfers, and then they also can buy players within the month of January. The award money in those competitions uh, are, um, are distributed uh, in two ways. First of all, we have the TV money, which are equally distributed to all the members of, the, of each division, with uh, Super League 1 getting the most money, and then gradually the money are being uh, lowered when you go down the divisions until you get to Super League 5, which get the, uh, the least money, of course. Additionally to that, there are also uh, money prizes for the top 5 finishers in each of the leagues, with the champion of the league getting the most money, uh, the second place uh, have, get also a significant amount, third, fourth and fifth, but nobody else is getting any money beneath those, uh, those other teams, so they would have to rely solely on the TV money. The teams still have the reputation that they start with, and also they have the transfer and wage budget that they start with, so no other changes uh, have been made. This experiment is starting on the 8th of May 2017, which means that uh, a lot of the transfers that have happened in January uh, 2018 have not been reflected in the game. Now, with all that said, I just want to quickly uh, guide you through all of the leagues so that you can, you can have an understanding of uh, who is competing and uh, uh, what can we expect. So let's get started with Super League 1. In that league, as you can see, the teams that uh, would be competing for this title which is uh, also going to be um, the important uh, title for giving places to the European competitions. The teams here are Atletico Madrid, 
Milan, Arsenal, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Borussia Dortmund, Porto, Inter Milan, Juventus, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, Napoli, Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, Roma, Sevilla, Benfica and Tottenham. And as you can see from the right side of the screen, this Super League is the uh, competition in the world with the top reputation. Super League 2 actually is at the third place and you can see Super League 3 is, is at 8th place. If I just click here on uh, competition reputation, you can see that uh, Super League 4 is 13th place and Super League 5 is 28th place. And I actually expect those to go up in time, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Of course, the unfortunate thing for the lower Super Leagues is that they do not give any access to the European competitions. Moving to Super League 2, the teams that will be competing in this division are Athletic Bilbao, Ajax, Monaco, uh, Atletico Mineiro, Botafogo, uh, Cruzeiro, Corinthians, CSK Moscow, Dinamo Kiev, Flamengo, Gremio, Lazio, Santos, Palmeiras, Shakhtar Donetsk, Sporting Lisbon, Valencia, Villarreal and uh, Zanit San Petersburg. In Super League 3, uh, we will find in the first season Coupe America, Besiktas, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Boca Juniors, Shivas, Cruz Azul, Everton, Fenerbahce, Feyenoord, Fluminense, Schalke, Hoffenheim, Leverkusen, Olympiakos, Olympique Marseille, PSV Eindhoven, Real Sociedad, River Plate, Sao Paulo and Wolfsburg. Going to the pen ultimate division, Super League 4, we have Anderlecht, Atletico Nacional, Basel, Espanyol, Red Bull Salzburg, Galatasaray, Kion, Krasnodar, Leicester, Newcastle, Nice, Puma, Pumas, apologies, Real Betis, San Lorenzo, Southampton, Spartak Moscow, Tigres, Torino, Vasco da Gama and Celta Vigo. And finally, in the lowest division, Super League 5, we will see Atalanta, AZ Alkmaar, Bordeaux, Celtic, Club Bruges, Deportivo La Coruña, FC Copenhagen, Frankfurt, Genoa, Hertha Berlin, Internacional, Mainz, Malaga, Monterrey, Pachuca, Racing Club, Sampdoria, Sassuolo, Stoke and West Ham. With all of that explained, I think now it's a good time for me to fast forward a bit until actually the first turn, the first week uh, has been played and we can see the transfers of the teams that uh, have uh, happened in the meanwhile and uh, that way uh, we can observe how uh, these leagues progress with time. Here we are, we are now at the 14th of August, which means that uh, Super League 1 has uh, started, the other uh, four divisions will begin next week. We also are going to have the cup competition, the Super League Cup, going to begin uh, in two days on the 16th of August. But let's first have a look at the, uh, the, the results in the first week and we'll also have a quick look at the transfers that have happened. So as you can see, Barcelona are leading the league at the moment. They are leading because they defeated Napoli 4-1, which puts them on top. Afterwards, we have Liverpool, Manchester United, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester City, PSG, having won their initial games. And as you can see in the results, uh, quite interesting, Arsenal defeated Roma 3-1, Atletico Madrid uh, defeated Milan 3-1, uh, Benfica drew with uh, Bayern Munich at home, Chelsea defeated Sevilla, Porto managed to, uh, sorry, apologize uh, for that, uh, Manchester United uh, managed to win away to Porto, while Inter and Real Madrid drew 1-1 uh, in Milan. Liverpool defeated Dortmund 3 to 0 and Manchester City beat Juventus 3 2. PSG also managed to record a win against Tottenham. So this is the first week of results in this uh, in this league. Now let's have a look at the transfers here and what has happened. These are all the transfers in Super League 1. As you can see, the top transfer at the moment is Andrea Belotti's move from Torino to Manchester United for £32 million. Radamel Falcao moved to Chelsea for £27 million. Daniele Rugani from Juventus to PSG uh, and also PSG managed to buy Emre Can from Liverpool. So uh, a lot of business from PSG. I don't see them selling anyone. Angel Correa moved from Atletico to Juventus, uh, then we have Tom Davies from Everton to Milan, Fred joined uh, Napoli from Shakhtar, Philip Ox from Hoff Hoffenheim has been purchased by Manchester City. Going down that list, I can see that actually PSG sold one uh, player, Kevin Rimane has uh, joined Covia for a very, very small fee, so this is a, 
uh, this is uh, not a key player this is uh, probably a young player or so or somebody no 26 years old a French Guianese uh, so he was not one of the key players for the team they were very uh, they were not hesitant uh, to part ways with him so having said all that so let me just have a quick look who bought uh, the most you can see Augsburg bought uh, three players with uh, for not a lot of money of course then we have Las Palmas buying two players and PSG who are part of the, our experiment here have bought uh, the most and they have spent the most money. Then on the other side if we see who sold the most we see that Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich um, parted ways with three of their players but they were three minor players not nobody who was uh, specifically important for them. Milan sold four players uh, in total so they were the most active and they bought one so they were actually participating in five different transfers with Cristian Zapata and uh, Gustavo Gomez the biggest transfers on their side but uh, they sold them to Las Palmas and Augsburg respectively in two days uh, the Super League Cup is going to begin as I mentioned uh, a minute ago as you can see we currently see the draw for the first round and it's uh, it's very interesting it's uh, it would be a very very fierce competition i'm sure that uh, there would be a lot of surprises here and uh, as you can see in the first round only teams from super leagues uh, 2 3 and uh, 4 and 5 are starting uh, their uh, their journey uh, to the trophy the higher league teams are going to join them in the next rounds with all that uh, i think uh, this is going to be the end of uh, episode 1 of the new series the super leagues Thank you everybody for watching, um, please uh, don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already to receive notifications for when I upload new videos. In the meantime, you can also check out my social media below in the description. Let me know what do you guys think about uh, this series, uh, if, you, if you want to see something adjusted or if you want to see something similar. Uh, I am planning to run this series for quite a long time to see how, how the leagues evolve and uh, if we have climbers from the lower divisions, what happens in the Cups and practically how the top teams in the game are going to perform when they are clashed against each other in one, uh, in one um, environment, I would say. So I would love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, with that, I think that's my time. So thank you everybody for watching. Until the next time, bye.